hear me out hear me out these are the only five yes five designer fragrances that you need for fall 2024 i told y'all i was coming back with a designer edition so let's get into it <laughs> welcome back to the channel everyone these some real here yes these are the only five designer fragrances that you need for fall 2024 that is as always lipstick of the day today everyone i'm rocking out with mac of course it's always mac at this point <laughs> and this is mac antique velvet lipstick which is a brownie reddish kind of color let me know what you're thinking of comments below and as always all the beauty details and every fragrance i talk about will be in the description box below so you don't have to ask questions about it next up we have fragrance of the day and this one has surprised me and shocked me to be a fall favorite at this point charosa number 62 the edp from sol de janeiro this scent right here i know they tout it as a summer fragrance but you all try it in the fall and thank me later this is a gourmand scent and to me the gourmands just shine better at this time of year when it's cool outside so that's why it's my fragrance of the day and this right here is sol de Janeiro, Charosa number 62, the EDP version. And now let's talk about the only five fragrances that you need for fall. <laughs> so first up, this one should not be a shocker. I've been talking about it. I told you all this was one I'm excited to wear for fall. So yeah, it makes a cut y'all as a top scent. This right here is the Prada Paradox fragrance. Yes, this one, the intense version. I have to emphasize the intense version because there's an original that I don't like. And now there's a new virtual flower version that I also am not a fan of. For me, it's the intense. She's the only one that matters. And that's why we're gonna give her her time to shine right now. So with the notes on this one, you all, it's pear, neroli, we got bergamot. We have moss in here, heavy on that moss. We have jasmine and neroli in this too, y'all. We have bourbon vanilla, we have more vanilla, we have amber fix, and we also have amber in this scent. For me, this fragrance needed the oak moss scent. Cause neroli, jasmine, we've smelled before, but the oak moss in this gives it more of an oomph. And this scent is rich and lasts all day. This is one I've actually found myself reaching for more so afternoon, evening. Although you can wear it in the daytime, it's gonna get the job done. In fact, all these gonna get the job done. Cause one thing about designer fragrances, they're mass appealing. But in my opinion, it's something about the Prada Intense version, the Prada Paradox Intense, that for me, it had to be one of the five you needed for fall. So this one, again, not a new release. It's tried and true at this point, it's just good. And that again is Prada Paradox, the Intense version. Now the next fragrance is a new release. And if you saw my video talking about the new releases at Sephora at the time, you should have known this was coming. I had to do it, you all. Marc Jacobs Perfect Elixir. Yes, Perfect Elixir. Now, in the past, I would have put Perfect Intense on the list, but you all, we got to give the new baby some shine. Welcome home to the family. And I told you all, this was the one I said was my number one pick for its newness that I was willing to purchase and get a full-size bottle of. And here it is. I got my 50 mil. That's my favorite. But let's get into it. I'm going to spend a little bit of time on this one because it's new. It's my first time talking about it on the channel. So Perfect Elixir, you all. Finally got more notes on this scent. So we have top notes are honey, plum, and rhubarb. I knew there was a plum note in this scent. And then in the middle, we have amber and orange blossom. And then in the base, we have resins. We have patchouli and vanilla. Let me tell you something, y'all. Marc Jacobs did not have to go off like this. If you know anything about me, and I swear by this, plum is a solid note for fall. Plum is so good. We don't get plum often, but it shines in the fall. And the fact they added honey with this, this is rich and thick. And then those resins in here give a little extra oomph. This one, she's sweet, but she packs a punch. Like, is this feminine? Yes, but she's very grown. So this is one I want to wear if I'm going to wear like a scarf or whatnot. It'd be good for that type of event, that type of day in the fall. And she's going to leave a trail. And because of the fact this is a plum and honey scent, this, I don't, you're not going to smell this everywhere. So this one, if I had a signature scent, so for is like the newer fragrances that have come out for 2024, I told y'all this was my pick out of the new ones. This was number one for me. And that's why it makes this list, you all. Mark Jacobs, perfect. The Elixir, AKA the purple juice bottle. I love it. <laughs> now this next one is a certified OG. This one has a cult following. It doesn't need any more hype, but we're going to talk about it because this one I love. Not like I love it for cold weather for fall. Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. Tobacco Vanille, you all, like this scent right here is an icon. So it's top notes of, we have tobacco leaf in here. We have spicy notes. We got vanilla cacao. We got tonka bean in here. Let's see what else we got in here. We also have dried fruits and woody notes. And I do get those dried fruits in here. Warm, woody spices. And you do get those fruity notes. This is such a holiday fragrance in my opinion, in which the majority of the holidays take place in the fall when you look at it. So that's why this scent makes the list. This is the special occasion fragrance for fall in my opinion. You can't go wrong with it. Perfectly unisex, by the way. This one, anybody can wear. 
and arguably one of the best fragrances to ever come out of the house of Tom Ford. Like tobacco vanille is one of those scents, if you know, you know. Some people love it, some people hate it, but more people love it than they hate it. This one, I had a full 180 on. If you know, I did a dedicated review on this scent, so definitely check that out if you haven't already. But tobacco vanille, this scent sings in fall weather, particularly on the cooler side of fall when we're getting close to winter. That's when you pull out tobacco vanille and most importantly for special occasions. So again, that is Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanilla. Now the next fragrance you all have seen me talk about, it's actually been a favorite already for the season. YSL's Lieb Le Parfum, this beauty right here. Emphasis on the Le Parfum version because they have a million flankers of the YSL Lieb line at this point. So you gotta be specific. So YSL Lieb Le Parfum, you all, has top notes. There's ginger, there's saffron in here, there's mandarin, orange, and bergamot. Then we also have orange blossom and lavender, which we know orange blossom and lavender are the pillars of the Lieb line, right? But then in the base, we have bourbon vanilla, honey, tonka bean, and vetiver. In a nutshell, this fragrance needed the honey and the saffron. I have said that a million times. I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm going to keep screaming it from the top of my lungs because those two notes make this DNA in my opinion. This scent right here, this one's sexy. This one's sexy. It leaves a trail. It turns heads. This is one I kind of want to be going somewhere and I'm wearing this. I'm not going to just put on Libre Parfum in the house. I need to be going somewhere for an event maybe. This one commands a little bit too much attention just to be wearing it at home or in the office. Mm -mm -mm. No, this one should look special because again, there's saffron in here. It's, it's, <laughs> it has a little bit of a come hither effect about it. So yeah, this is a fun, good time. So to me, this is, this is giving after five, like we're gonna have a little fun. This is giving that to me. Mm -hmm. Casual fun, in my opinion, but you're still trying to make an impact. Maybe you're going on a date or something. That is Libra Parfum for fall. It is perfect for those type of fall events. And that's why it makes the list you all. And that again is YSL's Lieb Le Parfum version. And then the last fragrance to make the list, this one, certified OG, oldest fragrance up here, and I love it. It will forever be in my collection as long as Dior makes it. So yes, Dior is the brand, Dior Addict. Dior Addict, one of the best ever fragrances for fall because this is old school bourbon vanilla. I told y'all this, this is bourbon vanilla before we even knew we liked bourbon vanilla. This scent right here, so I'm glad they brought it back because at first it, it kind of looked like it was going away. It was out of stock for a minute on Dior's website and everything, but now they done brought it back. And in two sizes, there's a 50 mil and there's the 100 mil size right here. I have repurchased this 100 mil size multiple times, so you know it's real. This scent right here is just, yes. So keynote y'all, he has this orange blossom in here and this bitter orange blossom. And it's, it's not a sweet orange blossom. There's jasmine sand back in this scent. And then there's also two, the bourbon vanilla in the base. Y'all, mm. it's a little bit of a spicy effect in this one. When I say this scent does not smell like any other vanilla fragrance to me, even though I know we've smelled a ton of orange blossom at this point, we smell a lot of jasmine sand back in a lot of fragrances, we smell a lot of bourbon vanilla now. That's been a trend for like the past five years, but mm -mm. don't nothing smell like this scent to me. This scent, the DNA, fabulous. If you have told me honestly this was a niche fragrance, I would believe you, but this is one I've been rocking since I was like 16 years old. So this scent, iconic legend and it's very grown at the same time it's kind of serious so in my opinion this is that when i'm feeling kind of bossed up saving me like a nine to five fragrance this one but at the same time it has a lot of personality that you still could wear it anywhere so again that's why it makes the list only five you need meaning you can wear it anytime anywhere it's gonna do what it needs to do for fall so that is why i've picked these five fragrances as you can see we got some new some old some icons some new school we have all that on here so let me know what you think about the five that I have picked for fall 2024 designer edition. Do you love these fragrances? Do you hate them? Have you smelled them? Let me know what you think. And also give me your picks. What are your five fragrances for fall that are designer fragrances? Yes, must be designers. And yes, I already did a niche edition version. So definitely check that out too if you haven't already. Because hey, with fall you all, there's just so much happening and so much comes out in the fall. I couldn't just do one video. We had to split it up this time around. So yes, let me know what you think. And yes, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.